Mark opens with a key illusion. Not an illusion, but an allusion. Let's look at the word illusion. It's a low key reference. It's a way of drawing something into the mind of your audience. Mark 1, verse 1 through 3. The beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. A voice calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. This is the new Exodus. Mark is using a quote functioning as an illusion. Mark wants you to read his gospel in light of this illusion. As Mark alludes, this theme starts in Isaiah 40. There's mention of a highway going out into the desert. We also see in Isaiah 41, the idea of a renewal of the desert itself, that it's becoming habitable, transformed. And we also see in Isaiah 55, God is going to lead his people out again into the wilderness. The prophets are saying that God will once again lead his people into the wilderness. You know what this is starting to sound like? These prophets are saying that God is going to work in the same way he did in the OG Exodus. Let's reflect on some key features from the OG Exodus. First, there's an oppressor like Pharaoh. Second, there's a captivity. The Israelites were in slavery. Then there was a deliverer. God raised up someone to rescue them, and it led to a renewed covenant with God. So the contours of an exodus are an oppressor, a captivity, a deliverer, and a covenant. If the gospel is an exodus, who is being delivered by whom, and what are they being delivered from? As we pay attention to Mark, and as he wants us to, read his gospel as an Exodus narrative. Let us pay attention to the contours of the Exodus story and see how they shape our understanding of the gospel of Jesus Christ.